hello viewers hello viewers welcome to our channel we are continuing with our series of excel fundamentals quick start guide so in the last video we spoke about the use of a keyboard over the mouse and what we are going to start with today is looking at the excel layout we want to look at the layout of the excel so let's go ahead and look at the layout overview in other words excel layout overview let's try to look at the overview of the excel as in the excel interface so let's discuss the excel interface and how it's laid out as a piece of software so let's go to the excel sheet let's look at the that excel sheet so this is our excel document that we have so that's what we have so i have brought everything up here because this is the excel software and what we are actually looking at here is referred to as a workbook what you are seeing here is what we call a workbook you can in fact use the word workbook interchangeably with the file in other words you can call it excel file or you can call it excel workbook so if you don't say workbook you can say file so we are going to use we may use these words interchangeably but they actually mean the same thing so if somebody is talking about a file or a workbook they are one and they mean the same thing now let's bring out let's bring our attention down to this bottom left corner this bottom left corner this is the bottom left corner okay let me let, let me just make it a bit clear for those we can actually take a screenshot because someone may be wondering how can we be able to take a screenshot there is from the print screen from your keyboard remember we said we are going to mainly focus on the keyboard so from your keyboard from where there is delete button from this side if you look at this your your right in other words it is on the top of the backspace the one that we use to to delete numbers or to delete some thing that we have actually written in any document so there is there is there is a button that has letters p r t s c r that which means print screen if you click on that on that on that button it's going to bring a screen like that this is what is going to help us to make a screenshot you can actually come you can take a screenshot of some specific items within here or you can go here here and take a window a window mode a window mode means it's going to bring out all our our workbook so we can take that so when you when you have clicked on that it means it has already taken the screenshot but the question is it is saved where where did it save the the screenshot 
we can actually go within the document. Let's try to move within the document. And we can actually paste it somewhere. Let's, let's paste it here by place, because we said we are not going to use the mouse, so it means we go Control V for pasting. This is what you are seeing this thing, we can actually move it all along. It is, move, it is movable. The whole of the thing that you are seeing, let me just move it and I put it down, down, down here. Let me try to resize it so that you can get the difference between what we have up there and what we are getting from, from this point. So this small one you are seeing, it is the same document that we've been seeing up there. We can maybe try to put it down a little bit. So that we see it differently. This is what we are talking about. The whole of this is what we call a workbook. The whole of this document is what we call a workbook. So this workbook is actually the one that we call a file. You see, it comes with everything like the way you are seeing up them here. You are seeing them here. They are all within this same document. So that's what we call a workbook. But we've said if you look at your left corner, this button that is on the left corner here, we can maybe just use this screenshot. We can just leave this screenshot. We can delete it. We click backspace and we delete it. So it is deleted. So now what we are left with is our document. We still have our document. That's the Excel file. So we said we look at the this bottom here, the left hand side, this one. If you open a new one, you find it is named the sheet. It may be sheet one, it may be sheet two, it may be, but it, the first, if you open it for the first time, it's supposed to be sheet one. So, if you look at this point here, maybe we can also take a screenshot because we can take a screenshot of a given item. So, what you see here is what we refer to as a worksheet. Remember, this worksheet is within the workbook. The workbook is the whole file. But the worksheet is, is that specific sheet that we are, we are working on. So, this is our sheet number one, but we renamed it to be cover because this is the document that we are using. But if you are looking at a new sheet, a new Excel sheet, you will find that this one is having sheet one. And we are seeing that there are very many numbers because there is sheet, there is this cover, there is this analysis. You can actually add more, many more as you want because here it says new sheet. You can actually add a new. So there are, there are a number of different worksheets within a single workbook. So you can actually use, a, you, you can use the word worksheet or worksheets interchangeably with the word tab. You can call it a tab. Instead of saying it is a sheet, you call it a tab. In fact, people often use the term tab because it's a little bit shorter and easier to say than the worksheets or the worksheet. So, 
that's the that's the that's the second layout that we want to see we can maybe take a screenshot it is we use the same procedure we just go to that that button which has letters p r t s c r which means print screen you just click it once when you click it this time around it was taking the the whole window but now we don't want we just want a specific figure so we just we just pick a rectangular mode and we come here we select that that area that we that we are talking about let me just make it a bit bit longer so that you can actually see what we are meaning so i can start from this point or push i can push it further so now the question is it has taken it where we still have it we can actually come and paste it here since it is small we can just press control v and you are seeing the thing the thing has been brought here so this is this this is the this is it is within this from this point this this item you are seeing here is what we call the worksheet so it is this item because we picked it from this these are the worksheets or you can call them tabs so i hope you have actually seen those we can delete that and we go to another another part or another part within the the layout so so the next part of the excel interface to take note of is right up here on the left hand side let me just scroll a bit on the left hand side let me just click there it is this item this this one you're seeing on the left hand it is right up here on the left hand side it is named a1 you're seeing there is a1 a n a1 in this box this is what we call the name box and as you can see the name of the cell that the cursor is currently on like like the cursor is in is in is in a cell called a1 that's why you are seeing this 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 name box is representing the name of the cell and the name of the cell is a1 if you move it if you move this cursor to this point it will change instead of a1 it puts c1 if you put to another point it will pick this number it picks the number on top here and it also picks the number on top here in other words it is just getting the those items remember our cursor is within this box so it is only picking the number from this item meaning these are these are these are columns and this these are laws so it picks the column number the column letter and it picks the the row number so that's why you are seeing here if i put the cursor in this in this in this section this intersection of these two lines the other name box will be reading b17 so if you click there it is reading b17 because it is the intersection of this column d and the law 17. so whatever you're seeing here is what we call the name box 
so we can also take a screenshot of that to see what we are what we are talking about so it is the same thing we said we go to we go to that print screen we click it once and we pick that rectangular portion and we we highlight the item that we want to take that we want to look to have a look at we just need to look at that item here it has already taken the screen we can just come and paste it here control v and we are seeing we have the item with us here and this is what we are discussing or this is what we are talking about this a1 this box right here is what we call the name box this one that is the name box and that's what we've been discussing so that is the 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 other part that we wanted to actually look at so we can delete that if at all you have actually understood it we've seen that is the name box so we've, we we know where it picks the letters it puts itself there but one of the things that we are going that we are going to see in this course is that we are able to change the name of the cell we can actually change the name of this cell like the way we, we we saw it it was reading a1 meaning it is just it it gives us a column a column letter and a row figure but we can actually change that a1 instead of calling a1 we can change it to something something else and that something else we shall see actually what we what we go through in order to change that to any given name that you actually want to call that cell but just know there is an option to do that and we shall go through that in a later modules so now we are shifting over to the right hand side we've been on the left and we've finished it this is the left hand side we've finished it so now we want to focus our attention on the right hand side so we can see this area here there is this area here this area this one that area that has fx f and x which is referred to as the formula bar in other words even if you just put your cursor there it is going to sh to to show the name as the name has come as what formula bar So you are seeing formula bar. That's what we call the formula bar. This is where you are going, you always, this is where you are going to see your formulas appearing in Microsoft Excel. It's where you always find the formulas appearing. But as we will see in, in this course, you don't always need to start by putting the formula in this formula bar. Because just saying that it is a formula bar, it doesn't mean that we are supposed to actually be putting all our formulas there. So it's not mandatory that we are supposed to put our formulas there. But what is mandatory is that your formulas will always appear there 
as long as you've used the formulas, they will be appearing in that section. That's why it is very important for us to actually talk about the formula bar because that's where all formulas are going to be displayed within Microsoft Excel. So the other thing, maybe we, we can also we can also take screenshot of that because we need also to be seeing some of these things independently. We can go to the print screen, you click it once, and it will bring for you that. When it brings that, you can come and make sure you highlight all this that you want to you want to see. That's what I want to see. I can come and paste it here. And paste it here, control V, and it is now pasted there. So this is what we are calling our formula bar. That's where your formulas are going to be displayed. But it doesn't necessarily mean that you are supposed to put the formulas in that location. But what it means is that all the formulas are going to be displayed in that in that section. So now, just to close our our tour of the maybe you can delete this because we've seen it. Just to close our tour of the Excel interface, we have this section up here, which is referred to as the ribbon. The ribbon is this section that we are seeing up here. Whatever you are seeing up here is what we call the Excel ribbon. And as you can see, it has a number of sections. If you are reading from this side, from the word file, if you are reading from your left and you are going to your right, you are seeing we have, you can see file, you can see home, you can see insert, you can see you can see page page layout, you can see formulas, you can see data, you can see review, you can see view, you can see help, and so many other sections. I know some of these sections we will be going through them not all of them but we are going to go through into those sections that we actually see they are more used in the finance perspective on the finance industry so we are going to see many of these in this course and we shall see the details there so just stay tuned, subscribe, and be part of the channel so that you can actually be able to have some of those things. So this ribbon, the, the, the only challenge is that I freezed with I, I freezed what you call I freeze the pan because you are seeing if I click on home, I have to first click on home for this thing to appear here. But some of these of these I just freezed them. Because if you freeze your ribbon, you'll find that some of the things you are not seeing them. But we shall we shall learn how we do that. But it is very easy, just like the way you've seen me. I've just gone to this. You can see there is what says collapse the ribbon. Or if I want to collapse it, I can collapse it from this point. But maybe to take screenshot of the ribbon, the whole of it. So this is the whole of it. And those are the things that you are seeing there. 
but I'm I'm making I'm creating more space. That that's why I collapse this ribbon. But to take screenshot of what we mean by ribbon, click on print screen. Select that so that it can help us pick out this only information that we actually need. This is what we call the ribbon. Whatever has been highlighted is what we call a ribbon. So we can now paste it somewhere. We can be we, we, we see it differently. Control V for pasting. And you can see this is what we call the ribbon. Can try to minimize it and we see it all. That's what we call the ribbon. It has those different sections as you can see. But just know, as I said, you can add more sections there you can remove some sections and we shall see how we do that so that's what we, that's what i wanted you to look at as far as the parts are concerned let me delete this ribbon then the other important item let me also collapse this because i want i i want to have more space because you're seeing when i collapse it i find more space up which is very important. So, after seeing that, maybe the other thing, if I forget, the one I wanted you to note is that we are using Microsoft Excel 365 for a PC or personal computer or laptop, whichever. We are not using Microsoft 365 for MacBook. MacBook computers. They have different versions. Even their keyboard looks a bit different. Even the shortcuts you've seen, they are for Microsoft Excel 365 for a PC, not MacBook. So if you are using a different version, or if you are using the software on a MacBook or a Mac computer, Things may look a little bit different, but it will be just fine for the purposes of this course. Just know I'm only using Microsoft Excel for PC, but I also be giving you highlights, especially on the shortcuts for MacBook users or Mac users. The shortcuts they are different because you may find where we where we where we use control using the PC. The other guys of the Mac they are using command and there is another another key they use, but command and so there are there are so many things that you keep on changing. You may see different things and you don't think that we are on the same page. So find out the gadget you are using. If it is a MacBook, just yes, know. It's going to look a little bit different from what we have actually seen. So, with that, I'm very sure that at least we've covered some of the, the basics that we actually need to know. Because as I said, we are not going to look at each and everything. We look at something that is going to help a finance personnel to actually understand better. So, since we have got a lot to cover, that was just a highlight of what we have looking at the Excel. Because there are so many things that we, are, we can look at in terms of the layout. But here, the overview, the layout overview is basically that. So, since we have a lot to cover, let's dive in and get started. So, in the next video, we are going to be looking at creating formulas. That's what we are going to be focusing on. So just know we are going to focus on 
practical the practical aspect of it because i said this 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 course is very interactive we are not just going to watch and be writing no we are doing these things ourselves so it's very handy and we need to actually have something to to put up at the end of the day at the end of the day you find yourself learning at the same time you are being able to do to save time and be efficient when you're doing different tasks so let's meet in the next video